Oh, goodness, Shaba. Let's talk about Annalisa real quick before we Let's get into all the meat. Because, Wait, yeah. who the, who the, who's Annalisa? <laughs> is that that scary girl? Who's Annalisa? Annalisa is a rat, for starters. <laughs> That's Annabelle. Oh, right. Sorry for making Annalisa up. is a rat. Annalisa is mm-hmm. a rat. Annalisa, it's... it's um, I'm really excited to talk about it, actually. I'm really glad you asked about it. Because yes. Annalisa is a rat who dreams of being a Broadway star. That's right. Oh. And she grows up in a family that tells her, you can't be a star. You are you don't have what it takes. <laughs> yeah. The you're, rat? A, you're a rat. Are her parents are rats? <laughs> <laughs> the parents are rats. <laughs> oh. I really don't appreciate you laughing. No, I'm only laughing yeah. because of the way that Annalisa came together with the Taj Brooks musical. Right. Just because yes. you're a rat doesn't mean that's funny or something to make fun of. It's not, not funny. It's well, no, not no, no. You're pretty you, inclusive. Yeah, okay. No, actually, yeah. the reason I'm laughing yeah. and the thing I wanted to tell you is that the two musicals actually do merge beautifully because... What do you mean two musicals? <laughs> fun fact. So I wrote a musical... Well, started. It's not finished, obviously. Okay. Started a musical inspired by the life of Taj Brooks, our wonderful podcast engineer here. Right. There's several really good songs already. Okay. And when Skip Shoba and I were together a few weeks ago, she helped elaborate on said musical along with two of our other collaborators who were there. And everyone was fully committed to fleshing out Taj Brooks' musical. Okay. So, what I does mean, it have to do with the rat? So here's what's funny. I don't quite know how the, we kind of transitioned into Annalisa. But I actually was going to say it's funny that they do go together because fun fact is a couple weeks ago, Taj Brooks had a rat climb up him. At an exhibit. That's crazy. Literally That's climbed Annalisa. up his body at a freaking art exhibit. Are you at an fact. art exhibit? At out an of art all exhibit. That's Annalisa. Pants. It was Annalisa. That's Annalisa in the <laughs> flesh. Mm. She she's trying to get her she's trying to get her start. She's, she's trying, trying to, to get her she was in the middle of <laughs> she Hollywood. Must be desperate. It was, no, she's it, going for the D it, to climb the ladder. Right, but it was right, literally right. in the middle of Hollywood, <laughs> so it actually fits. Yeah, it no. makes perfect sense. It it does. I mean, the only part that doesn't make sense is I think she's trying to move to New York. Mm. Well, maybe she was trying she's to get the trying. Plans. She's still trying. She's still trying. She's still trying. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. She's still trying. She's going to get there. It's okay. <laughs> she's she waiting for her little, her little rat <laughs> restaurant in Hollywood right now. It's a rat race. Trying to save up to move. And then eventually she'll <laughs> make the trying. transition. She'll she's be a Broadway star. Period. That's the, that's Period. really all there is that's to it. That's what it is. <laughs> um, Did you write Peter's, a single song? Yes. Yes. Can it's, I hear some? It's called Stick to Cheese. Hmm. And then the title track is, of course, Annalisa, where her, her mother is, you know, you know, trying to get her to her. stay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, trying to get her to stay. She she's goes, she shows up to Broadway. She's she somehow gets a role as like a backup dancer, but she's not able to keep up with everyone because she's a mm-hmm. rat. Mm-hmm. And people boo her off the stage. Uh, <laughs> talent, a talent agent talks to her after. Yep. And he's about she to scam agent, her. Though? He sees potential. Well, he though. sees potential. He sees in potential. Her. I don't like and calls her out. And calls her out. And then after after the audition, she gets singled out and given a chance. <laughs> <laughs> this reminds me of cats. <laughs> Haters, the, haters will know. compare it to things that already <laughs> exist. Who do you think is? Rats and- <laughs> Who do you think? Rats and cats. Rats and cats. <laughs> <laughs> that is some hateration right there. Because those, those two those are, are nothing yes, alike. Some, some haters will compare it to, <laughs> to ratatouille. Sure. Some mm. haters will compare it to cats. Yep. Um, and I think at the end of the day, we just need to appreciate Annalisa for what it is and not compare it because she is a rat she's trying to become a star and she'll do it she's gonna right <laughs> she might be working for the low in hollywood right now yep she is but she's gonna be a star climbing in people's pants annalisa oh my god we need to find the footage uh, the footage I think, is good i think i was ready for the rest of the song no you you need to I watch the I footage because i don't yeah i you mean you just compared it to cats Ooh. <laughs> Good night. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. But no, you need to see the footage as well. Okay. I mean, I haven't watched it back since we first went into dress rehearsal. <laughs> okay. Amazing. I'm glad, but I'm glad it's you guys worth watching. I'm glad you guys are so creative. Yeah, and Taj Taj already knows that that one is is heavily in Absolutely. the works. It's been in the works for a while. It's just nice to feel like I have a team that supports the dream. Right. 
that is fully on board to help Super continue on with the mission. Such Absolutely. A, such a sweet sleigh. Such a sleigh. And amazing. Hey, Daddy. Hey, Mommy. Get in the bed and let's party. Hey, Daddy. Hey, Mommy. Get in the bed and let's party. Hey, 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 hey. All right. <laughs> let's transition over. And introduce our lovely co-host of the day. Hello, children. We have someone very special for you today. Don't look. Okay, avert your eyes. You Mm -hmm. don't have to close them, but don't look up. We're going to read your bio. You're going to be surprised. Period. Period. (laughs) Don't look, girl. I'm so sorry. Immediately read it. (laughs) You want to read your own bio? She said, let me just make sure there's nothing I don't want. I panicked. I panicked. You said don't look and I just... Close your eyes. That would be easier. Okay, yeah. So you close your eyes. Perfect. All right. So, Keon, why don't you kick this off? No, 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 no. Me? Oh, you you, Uh, you say the bio? Yeah. Because you know what? We put some language in there that I feel like needs to come from you. Okay, Slay. Yeah. Okay. Ready. Introducing... Shaba! Clap, clap, do the clap, do the clap, do the clap. Woo! Oh, yay! Okay. Keep your eyes closed, Queen. Let it out. Okay, right. Here we go. All right. To our children, you might recognize this hot ass female to my left. She goes by the name of Shuba, aka TikTok Brown Chick. She hails from the dark and gloomy lake filled land. <laughs> <laughs> That is Michigan. Shout out. And is one of our favorite friends. Aww. Cute, right? This multi-talented queen has racked up nearly 8 million followers across platforms and has gained popularity not only for her magical vocal talents, Mm. but that ass. (laughs) (laughs) Her hit single, Indian Summer has kicked off what is sure to be a long-lasting and ultra-voluptuous musical career. We can't wait to see what this girly does next. Ladies and gentlemen, we give you the one, the only, Shuba! Yeah! Welcome. I hope we did you justice. queen. Truly. We put our minds together this yeah, morning and put I that love, together for you. Right. I love so many parts of it. Can't you see Good. how I shouldn't have read that? I think you would have slayed it. I, I would have. I think you still would have. You think I should try? Okay. I'm just kidding. I don't have <laughs> to. I feel like it, yeah. You certainly Hot can. ass female from a... <laughs> Oh, okay, you gotta take yourself seriously. Yeah, I didn't like that. You gotta take yourself seriously. You have to take yourself seriously. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, <laughs> Be respectful. <laughs> Go ahead. You might, you might, why well, do I have an Australian accent? You might recognize this hot ass female from American. <laughs> You were right the first time. You were <laughs> dark and gloomy <laughs> like <laughs> I'm she sure Michigan is actually a sunny place. She comes from a trash place. <laughs> Honestly, ladies and gentlemen. She's, she is Annalisa. I feel as though Michigan yeah. can be sunny sometimes. I, I am. Oh, shit. You want to be a Broadway star? No. <laughs> <laughs> let's Listen, talk about you guys. Let's so get how a, did you, yeah. you guys were friends before Shoba and I were friends. Right. So let's hit how a safe, did you guys yeah. meet? Let's tell the people. Well, wow. oh, yes. digitally first, yes, right? Digitally. We were talking the other day. It's kind of like there's like a TikTok cohort. Yes. We kind of came up in. Yes. Like a graduating class. Yeah. Graduating Cute. class. A graduating class. Some, cool. Yeah. Some of us got our master's degrees. Yes. Oh. I'm still a sophomore. <laughs> okay. okay. You saying Shiba got her master's? Oh, yeah. In TikTok? Oh, is it? Oh, that's okay. Yeah. Hmm. I, I feel so. like we all just kind of graduated, you know? Right. We're all oh, like, and then we just, out we the all world. just are out. You just did our thing. Yeah, we yeah. just all did our thing. Right. Did you, so, I mean, was it, it was a COVID? It was during COVID. Was it right before or was it like March started it? It was literally right before I moved back home. So, mm. right before March, I think. Like yeah. February ish? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. And it was just, um, Posting, I mean, as you probably know, but yeah. just posting like tons of videos. That's all we had to do. That's all you that's had. All we, that's there was all nothing we else do. to do. 
I was like, all right, well, I remember then I got like 700, oops, 700 views on a TikTok. And I was like, I'm going to be a TikTok star. Um, (laughs) That's how you made it. I was like, I'm famous. What was your first, what was your first viral video? Mm. Well, how do you define viral? viral? First viral to you. Oh, you know, first one that got views that was (laughs) maybe like, let's go a hundred thousand up. Oh, a hundred thousand up. Okay. Um, that started your account. Hmm. Okay, I think the true start okay. was when I did this 12-second video as Indian Ariana Grande. Mm. Where I was like, if, if Ariana Grande were Indian. Amazing. And then it was so dumb. Like, from the start time to the time I posted was probably less than a minute. And it was like, instead of just keep breathing and breathing, right. I was like, just keep reading and reading and reading. <laughs> <laughs> and I literally just did that. And then I put like the, you know, the echo effect right, or whatever, right. which people love. And it just it went to like three million views, and that was my first contact with like true, true virality. I love that. No, that's amazing. I love that. That's yeah. a much better story than mine. What is yours? Mine <laughs> was I had this video on my phone that I had not edited together for like six months. Okay. Of my dog getting a bone stuck on its mouth. Oh yeah. And me having to take him to the vet. I oh. remember this. I started as a dog account. Oh. Yeah. Like even like I don't know if you remember but like you could figure out like what category you were in at the beginning of tiktok okay because you could go and look at your profile and it suggested people like you and like (laughs) mine were all dog accounts (laughs) so my my whole thing and i remember saying to somebody before i was like well i know one thing's for sure they don't like it when i sing (laughs) (laughs) that was what happened so yeah i was a dog for about a month Okay. A month and a half. Wow. Yeah. Did you continue posting dog content? Yeah, did you? you? Yeah, for a little because I loved it. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, oh shit. I like was trying You're to sneak like, my myself boy is in famous. there. But I was so proud of my son. <laughs> sneak myself. <Yeah. laughs> You'd be was... perfect for Annalisa production. I mean, we'll see. <laughs> We'll yeah, see. yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We I don't, don't know. know. Yeah, I don't okay. know if Keon's committed to Annalisa yeah, TBH. Me, don't give me too much credit. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah but true, I can true. produce a dog. That's, that's actually not the only famous dog I've I've done, to be honest with you. That's oh. true. That I've what done two. He? My sister's dog's famous. On shout TikTok. out Martini the Weenie. Yep, shout out Martini the Weenie. Mm-hmm. I feel like I've seen Martini. Yeah. I definitely have seen Martini. You've seen Martini. Like, Martini went very viral. Martini the weenie. He's Mar- doing his thing. The weenie. He's doing his thing. He's getting brand deals left <laughs> like, to right. You know, you know, like Martini. The weenie. <laughs> the weenie. <laughs> he's doing he his thing. Shout out Martini. All royalties go to me. I'm just kidding. I get <laughs> nothing not. from it. Yeah. <laughs> I get nothing from but it. But no, but I love that. So y'all are both little TikTok stars. And you know, some of us are um, regular people. Well, you're a blue-haired person. Blue-haired baddie. Mm. Blue-haired person. Okay, so we get it. You do TikTok. That's mm-hmm. how it started. Let's started. talk about let's talk about let's talk about how you transitioned into a full fledged pop star. Well, yes. Yeah. Your because, girl's been doing shows. I know you've been doing shows. I know, and, and I, I and I went to one of your shows recently. You did. You went to And you had a little shows. like you had a little meet and greet afterward, basically. A meet and greet. Oh, and she had <laughs> yeah. some big people show up at her shows yeah, here in LA. Yeah, yeah you well, got he you was got one fans. of the big people who you got fans. Up. You got fans. For real. Thank you. And I love to see that. Because the Thank thing you. is, I feel like I've been in LA long enough to see people's shows, especially if it's like a showcase type of show. Mm. And people go, mm. show up, and then oh, and then they get off stage. Oh. But you go, do your thing, get off stage, and then you have a whole crowd of people you got to say hello to, which I thought was very beautiful. Thank you. I was proud of you. Thank you. From you. the sidelines. She's a real pop star. Real not pop a fake star. one. She's a real pop yeah. star. A real one. I'm not just some Annalisa out here. Not no, just a, not just, not just don't, an don't, Annalisa. Don't diss her like you're that, more, though. She's going to be She's gonna be a star. You're more than a garbage <laughs> rat. <laughs> but garbage? Who said anything about garbage? Oh, I just assumed yeah, she lives she in is, the garbage. She's a hardworking blue-collar rat. Michigan. Doesn't mean she's garbage. Oh. Just saying. Okay. But Thank like... You. Any quiz. Any quiz. Tell us about your shows. Tell us about how everything's your going. Yeah. Obviously, you've transitioned from being a person that everybody knows on TikTok to somebody that people are paying tickets to go see you. Mm-hmm. It's a big deal. Thank you. How's your musical career been? What's what's kind of caused you to want to even release music of your own? I think I had this like awakening. Uh which you might relate to, but I just, I was making a lot of content that was going viral or whatever and was working with 
TikTok and working mm-hmm. with my TikTok audience who didn't really even know I put out original music or was a singer, which I've always been first and foremost, is, mm-hmm. is a singer. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, I think I just had like a dream that I met. Uh, do you know Ty Verdes? Ty yeah. Verdes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, A-OK guy. Yeah, so I had a dream that I was hanging out with him backstage at one of his shows and we had a great day and then he was like, yeah, I'm about to perform in front of all those people. And I was like, really? And he was like, yeah. And I remember the next morning I like woke up and I was so happy for him, but I woke up the next morning and I was like crying because I realized that I had kind of like lost myself in the sauce for a year. Mm -hmm. Like I attached so much of my happiness and purpose to going viral, Mm. which was not the goal. No. Mm. Like I took a detour, which was a great detour. I don't regret it. Mm -hmm. And I love making content. I love making that viral, funny content. I don't take myself too seriously. But then I was like, okay, I really got to like look at myself objectively and be like, what do I want to do? You know? Yeah. Yeah. Like it was, it's great. It's always fun working with brands. It's always fun making content, but it's like the music is the main thing. Yeah. And so I just kind of recentered myself on that and was like, you know what? I might lose some people, but I might gain some new people. And like those are the people I want at the end of the day. Totally. Because if my goal is, all I want to do is perform live shows. Like Mm -hmm. the rest of it is just like, a means to an end right right? so like that's why with the live show like why you're like i'm surprised that like you say that's the whole point that's it for me right like what's the whole point right like those are the people who give you the platform so i don't understand why nobody would someone wouldn't stay behind unless like you have like thousands and it's like a danger hazard thing whatever safety hazard but um yeah then i just recentered myself and i started just focusing on my music my writing um trying out different things and then Recently, I've just really been focusing on being consistent Mm -hmm. with my vision, as you know. Like, Mm -hmm. I, you know, when we were writing, I just, I really want to put out a consistent message. This past year, I've tried different things. I tried, like, some punk rock vibes with true colors. I tried, like, Indian summer-ish kind of, like, these lush evergreen Indian summer vibes. Um, I've tried, like, Love Runs Out, which is a little bit harsher and kind of lets me rap. And I think I just need to... I think this next year, I know what I want to do. Like, I want to put out a ton of songs in the kind of world of Indian summer and just keep growing in that right. area. Mm-hmm. Um, and songs that are more vulnerable, too, because I feel like I do put out a lot of just, like, I'm a baddie, like, I don't need a man, whatever. And it's just, like, extremes. And I think I really need to work on being more vulnerable. Mm. So I'm vulnerable and consistency, that's, like, my goal of the next year. Right. I love that. That's very gorgeous. Lots of, I just remembered when I shamed you for crying. <laughs> 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 that was so funny. You were like, no! <laughs> no! So Shaba, fun fact, Shaba invited me to a writing camp for her artist project. Yes. So we were on Big Bear for a few what days. A camp. It was a good time. I actually really enjoyed myself. Right. Actually. Minus my ear being clogged like the whole time. No, I say actually because listen. listen. Oh, because you were ear health, yeah. Your girl, your no. girl was like mm. struggling. But you know what? That just, ear is free that. now. What? We've been to a lot of camps. We, we have enjoy. been to a lot of camps, and mm. they're not all fun. They're not mm. all fun. They're definitely so not all fun. So if you actually had fun, that's great. Yes. No, I Amazing. actually enjoyed myself, especially, too, because you, I mean, I knew you, but you and I had only been together once. This is so true. So I also didn't know if we were really going to vibe. Oh, I knew. I was like, I think we're going to vibe. But then I was like, I don't know the other two guys. I don't know if we're going to vibe. Oh, true. You okay, know? Yeah. And I was like, and then especially because it's such a small camp. I mean, if we didn't vibe, it's like, there's no escape. That's, you're, you're stuck. Like, mm-hmm. It's not like, oh, tomorrow you're going to be in with somebody else in this room. True. No. It's like, these are the people. And yeah. I feel like I got lucky and we had a oh. great time. That makes me really... That was a great camp for me. I loved it. It was so fun. But yeah, yeah first day, we sat down. I think it was like literally right after you It was me 20 up. minutes. You picked me up. I had to park like in a lot far away from the house. So Shiba picks me up. We get back to the house. I think, yeah, we we're 20 minutes into just talking about, so how are you? How are things? Right. And then tears start falling. And I was like, oh, no, 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 no. In the car? <laughs> no, no, at the house. The house. Oh, I was like. It was within 20 minutes. No, yeah. But like we got home. I think I set my stuff down. I came, sat down in the living room. I think I asked her, how are you? And like tears happened like almost instantaneously. <laughs> and you were like, no. Yeah. <laughs> she was aghast. I, I really was. Aghast. I was so shocked because I was like, is she? Wait, are you actually crying? Yeah, I know. For me, it's like hard to tell. <laughs> it's hard to tell if it's a joke or not. Because, yeah, no. It's like she'll be having a totally normal conversation and all of a sudden it's like <laughs> and I'm like wait 
wait, wait. I'm like, where did the tears come right. from? And she's like, I cry a lot. I cry a lot. And I, I think like that's healthy. You that? were saying one of oh, your goals oh. is to be vulnerable. I mean, that's being vulnerable. Well, the thing is, I've always cried a lot. But I think being vulnerable is admitting the things you don't want to admit also. Mm. I think that's there's another tier to it. I think I'm good at, like, crying about the things that I'm fine admitting. But, like, there's also other things that I don't. I find that just on a daily basis or whatever. Like, I just don't admit to myself even mm. and I feel like those are those are the things that are like the you. next stage like the yeah. next tier of vulnerability you know like I when I think you. about Good For You by Olivia Rodrigo it's just like I didn't get it at first and then you know now I'm like whoa that is embarrassing like the guy just moved on like he's gone and then you're not like mm -hmm. that's an embarrassing thing for like em it's embarrassing to me because that would have been hard to admit but now I see that there's like a power in that because once you kind of wear all your insecurities like armor like no one can touch you with them right mm. that's real it's kind of like especially the with you being so publicly out there I feel like as somebody who's got a huge fan base and people are probably very quick to say certain things or comment on certain things mm. it's like if you're already being open you know about a lot of those things then what is there that anybody could really say other than you know that, just casting judgment yeah what do you what are you gonna say yeah yeah it's like yeah i said that you just reset what i said goodbye right. like, <laughs> it's like the last scene of eight mile have you guys seen Eight Mile with Eminem? Wait, it's been a long it's time been quite since I've a seen long it, but time. yes, I have. Okay. What's I the last have scene? Too. It's a very special scene. I think everyone should like, even if you don't watch the movie, just look it up on YouTube. It's just like the last battle where he has to go first, which is it's hard when you go first, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Like you, you kind of have to like set the time, set the stage, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of stuff, terrible stuff that happens to him throughout the movie, and at the end, he just says it all. Mm. He says all of it. He's like, yeah, like, I do live with my mom. Yeah, I do work this, like, trashy job. And yeah, my friend did take my girl. Mm. And yes, this also happened. And then, but I know sounds about you, too. Like, then he's like, your real name's Clarence. Like, you went to a private school. Like, you're mm -hmm. not a gangster. Like, he just, not only does he insult himself, but he, like, does all this stuff with the other guy. And then it's like, the next guy picks up the Clarence, picks up the mic, and what is he going to say? Has nothing to it's say. It's just going to look lame. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. There is there is a beauty in kind of like owning those things. Yeah. Right. I love that. Because it just makes it embarrassing for the person right. who's like making fun of you. Yeah. Wow. Well, I feel like you're, I mean, you seem like you have a pretty level head, which is funny considering the first time I met you, I thought you were cuckoo cuckoo. -coo. <laughs> I was I like, am this too. girl, I was I like, am. this girl is one of the funniest yeah. people I've ever met in my life. You <laughs> came in and we're hitting like joke after joke. That, right. was, that was the first time I heard you all go poke ho, go poke ho. That was mm. amazing. That was one of the best <laughs> like nights ever. I don't even know. I was, I was dying. I was, I was dying. I was dying I was of laughter. I was like, who is this woman and where did she come from? You I came know. in and I was like, <laughs> 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 you your little ponytail. Living. Living. I, and that that is a big side of me, though. That is still a big side of me. It's right. just. Um, <laughs> you're just, you're in your introspective era. Am I, have I changed a lot? I feel like you're I, so subdued compared today, to the first girl today that, that I met. Today that Michigan's taking over. Oof. Ouch. <laughs> we <laughs> what is that face? <laughs> it's just a gorgeous <laughs> smile. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's just a gorgeous smile. No, but I think, I mean, introspective is a good word. I think also, though, like, from what I know of you and your story, it seems mm. like you're just kind of in a healing era right I'm now. In a healing mm. era. Yeah. yeah. Which, like. You know. <laughs> what? <laughs> what do we know? I was just going to say. You know, sometimes when, <laughs> and that's all. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Right. But no, I mean, like, no, Her, I feel yeah. like the sugar I met. <laughs> why did we give him a platform? I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Not, that's not your guys' fault. That's everyone else's. <laughs> Ooh, man. <laughs> But I feel like when I True. first, like the Shiba that I met when I first <laughs> met you and the Shiba that I know now has like been to war. Like mm. it feels like you've kind of like seen some shit, came back, and now you're like a little scarred. Oh. <laughs> oh. We're healing. No, no. no. We're healing. Oh, no. <laughs> Not her going Eminem on your Clarence ass. <laughs> she did. <laughs> she really did. She really did. But I think you're being very real about it. 
As far as like, I, it sounds like you're shocked that you're not as bouncy bubbly as you were once upon a time. But I think it's okay. I'm shocked because because <laughs> I feel like I've, I'm one person and like I'm a different person in like different moments of time. Yeah. So I can't take myself, like even in this moment, it's like I might be acting this way. And then in like the next, I mean, you watch my close friend story. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. The close friend story is actually literally TV. It's, it's so good. I've actually genuinely. I can't wait for the friend Like, reveal. no, I seriously. Show us close friend story. It's like, you know how like. Only usually, friends. Only friends story. Only friends. It, <laughs> only friends. Only friends. Only friends. I like that. I just don't get paid. <laughs> it's so good. It's like a soap opera. Everybody else's, everybody else's close friends is literally like the same thing they'd post on their own story. Yeah. Or, or some weird snarky bitches who add you because they think mm. that's a play. Mm. You know what I mean? Just side note. Take me the fuck off your close friend story if I don't know you. Oh, Ooh. I'm just saying. Oh, I I went red. Mm. I went no. red. No, I thought you were me confronting on. me. No, you I thought I was she confronting said, me. She said what? <laughs> no. Oh keep my god, me on my yours. body. Keep me on yours, please. Don't take me off, please. Okay. Please. I've been thinking about making a closer friend story, honestly, oh. because some sometimes the comments are not it. Oh, how People many you got? On, how many you got on there? Well, they're all they're all. It's like. 20, 30 people. Oh, that's not bad. But you get responses. That's what I really I mean, like. they're all my close. No, like, it's not a is, joke. Yours is good. Like, I like, <laughs> actually, like, literally love it. And I feel like I must have said a good prayer at some point to get in there. <laughs> Blessings. Good. Blessings. Blessings. But so even through the chaos. What type of stuff are you posting? What type of stuff are you posting? It's just how I feel in the moment. Because literally one moment, I'm like sad and crying and a mess and the next moment I'm like I'm so hot I don't get it I don't understand <laughs> and I don't want to be anyone but right. me mm -hmm. right. and so that's why I was like right. surprised at, as, <laughs> at the thing that you're like you were like this bubbly person because sometimes I like that day was a sp special kind of day I don't know mm -hmm. what took over right. I was possessed <laughs> you were on and it, it happened one other time since then where I just like Sometimes I just become possessed by this spirit. Mm. Um, the sp yes. Maybe. Out spirit. No, I love the spirit. Oh. I was going to say, maybe we conjured her. Maybe we conjured her accidentally. We conjured spirit. She's Come not productive, back. though. She's not productive. That version of Shiba is not productive. I mean, she was a, such a good time, though. She was a good time, She for was sure. such yeah. a good time. Yeah. It's a different... It's All a different... Right. Uh, chamber that I've unlocked of my that but mm. truly that day for me I unlocked like parts of myself that I didn't even know existed like I was chamber of secrets it was the chamber, chamber of secrets chamber of spirits oh the chamber, chamber of, spirits. of spirits I love that that's very gorgeous mm -hmm. you said it and then you're complimenting yourself no that. not my <laughs> joke you're, you're like the chamber of spirits that's gorgeous <laughs> <laughs> it's like all right but yeah like I, I like my skin I do I'm disagree thinking. Do not disagree. I don't not. I don't <laughs> not, I don't, I don't not, not disagree. disagree. I don't not disagree. I don't disagree. even know what the hell I was trying to say. Now you're speaking to me in Michigan. But I will say there was one specific story that you had, and I won't mention it. Mm. This is, that was really hit me amazingly. It was my favorite by far. It was had it? to do with your roommate situation. <laughs> 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 so good. <laughs> That shit was Wait, good. What that is the story? Shit was so good. What is the story? <laughs> we can't. We can't. yeah. Well, <laughs> I can tell you after. <laughs> but after? that that was incredible. <laughs> can, can you I share? Think? Can you share anything? We can share. It. Just not on here. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, y'all be thinking about that. It's Moving on. Okay. You just put out a music video. Oh. Let's talk about it. Yeah, let's talk about that. Nothing to lose. Oh, yes, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, you know it. Yeah, yeah I, I know hope. it. I know it. Okay. Tell Nothing us. Nothing to lose, baby. Ooh. Ooh. That's not the song. I was going to say, we should charge you. Like, if you were true friends, part. you would know that that is not the song. No, and that's I thought not that the, was I'm I'm I thought that was you in. showing no, passion. I want to That was you showing passion for your record. That wasn't actually the song, Listen. but you were all about promoting. Listen. You know what I mean? That's the title. And also, the like roller coaster really is already my... in motion. Seatbelts on. Da, 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 da. Mm. See who's a real friend now. Mm. Period. Right. Uh, period. Mm. All right. I need to know. I need to know about the music video. Should, but you yeah, stop dancing real quick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. 
How, She's coming back. How mm-hmm. did that heart? Oh no! I how the conjuring. Heart, conjuring. <laughs> how did the heart in the music video have a face? Tell me. Yeah, who who did um, you hire to do that stuff? That actually oh, was amazing. The the prop and set design was awesome. Yeah. Um, they had. I have to find out the name. I will find out the name. But they do a lot of amazing prop design. Um, he made the heart in three days. Some some guy in and in, in California. He just makes this stuff. Was it physically? It's a physical heart. It's a be- it's a cute little heart and he he, he put little scratches on it oh. and we put band-aids on it. So it was a heart that he purposely made with like stitches. Right. How and then, cute. And if you haven't so seen cute. it yet, basically, you can describe it, but the premise of the video, hmm. it, it's you with a heart. Yes. But the heart is is your friend. It's yes. interactive. It has a face. It has emotions. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah, it's, it's really it's, cool. It's, Theoretically, like my broken heart that right. I'm carrying around, right? And with then, me. It, and then you heal it, Hence and then the I heal it. Right. I, I I help it heal. My favorite mm-hmm. part is when you started doing crunches with it. Oh, yeah! What a physically fit because queen. you know me. I'm just so about fitness. He's so mm, into working fitness. out. I love working out. Fitness. It's so good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, and I'm. <laughs> fitness. <laughs> fitness. Fitness. But I fitness. I saw it. I saw it. I was on YouTube. Oh. As I should be. And and listen. <laughs> that, that wasn't even. <laughs> I was like. No. I, I realized that you're doing real well on YouTube. Oh. oh and I was like, you. yeah. Slide. These Slide. hoes are up in that shit watching it. Oh. Commenting. These hoes. Yeah. These hoes. <laughs> no shoe disrespect beans. to your fans. Shoebies? Shoebies? How do you call them? Shoe beans. Shoe beans. But speaking Shoebeans. of YouTube. Fitness. I was going to say, speaking of hearts. <laughs> no, not hearts. Hearts are overrated. Ooh. Speaking of YouTube. That tells you a lot about that one on the left, doesn't it, Shiba? Mm-hmm. Have you heard of puppy play? <laughs> no. Well, neither have I until I went to the YouTube office. Let me tell you about it. Mm. I went to, you know how sometimes YouTube will like invite people in, like creators, artists, whatever. Mm. I, I went. To like one of the little things. It was like mm-hmm. a media training. I was like, I didn't know what this was. But I went. I mm-hmm. met some people. Mm-hmm. You know. I met a ghost hunter. A therapist. Oh. I met some cosplayers. Mm. I thought they were very interesting. Mm-hmm. I went. And then I met a guy who worked at YouTube. And we got into like, how was your day? And he goes, well, I just came from puppy play. And then I was almost going to be like, oh my gosh, what kind of dog do you have? Because I have two dogs. Mm. Then he proceeds to tell me. About how he was getting dominated that morning. <laughs> this is some random man. No, not random. He this works is a at YouTube, YouTube employee. Oh my god! He works at YouTube. These are the people behind your views. Wow. No hate. No hate at all. I no hate it. at I all. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Puppy play. That's what, puppy I mean, play. You learn something Anyways, new every day. I if didn't somebody know that. says to you, "I'm going to the dog park," chill. If somebody says to you, "Hey, I gotta go," I have puppy play. Now you know what it is. That's all. No hate. Nothing about it. Just Would education. Would you ever be dominated, Shiba? Oh, right, shit. All right, all right, all right. We're, we're I'm just curious. <laughs> wow. You Next brought question. up the puppy play. I was just trying to Perfect. define it. Perfect. I was just trying to define <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> she gets these little mischievous faces that are so funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's that uh-huh. silent smile with the little hazy eyes. It's like <laughs> listen. When I don't want to answer a question, I'd be back in too. Does Shiba know just about gentleman's hole? Just got a squawk. Hmm? Oh, we're gonna go straight from puppy play to gentleman's hole. It just felt like a natural transition, TBH. Okay. Okay. I don't wanna like I'll tell you the story about it. Talk to me. Please don't it's not creepy. It's just this is just how it happened. Okay. Okay, do you know Mario Party? No. You know you don't know Mario, like Mario Party. Kart? Yeah, Mario Kart. Mario yeah, Party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know who Birdo is? It's Yoshi's wife. I assume they're married. They might Is not she be. also a turtle? Is he a turtle? Is he a frog? What the fuck is he? <laughs> a I dinosaur. thought he was a dinosaur. Oh. <laughs> okay. Maybe. <laughs> but he has a shell. He looks like so a So that's why your turtle he doesn't have a shell. He looks turtle to he me. He has a shell? Yoshi has a sh- doesn't he have I a shell? I don't think he has that? a shell. Yoshi the does he actually not have a shell? Do a peep. That- oh, no, no. His little thing. I've just seen him riding the shell, spinning on the shell. No, no shell. I feel like I'm having a Wendy Williams right? moment. Like, do a peep. Do a peep. Yoshi the turtle. 
Mm-hmm. Anyways, I do think he's a dinosaur, though. Okay, he's a dinosaur. He has mm-hmm. wife. Mm-hmm. Wife's pink. Her name's Birdo. Ah. Oh. <laughs> They're cramping. They're cramping. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, uh. <laughs> Wait, my feet are cramping. I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. Lord. So, anyways, <laughs> I will show you a picture of his wife because I feel like you have to understand. <laughs> she looks like. She, where's my phone? Annalisa must have I can show it. you. <laughs> Is that her name? Annalisa. <laughs> you'll never make it. Stick to cheese. Annalisa. <laughs> you know you're meant to stay here with your mom. Oh. You know her? Okay, this girl. This oh, girl. she's cute. This is Birdo. That's yo, Okay, he looks like a turtle, so I stand by where he's friend. Also, yeah. Okay, okay yeah, cute. that's them together. See but that rock cute. on her finger? Oh. I assume they're married. Oh, yeah. I never noticed yeah. she had no, a rock. No, she ain't playing mm-hmm. games. That's big. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's yeah, not she even really moist tonight. So what is the point of this? Okay, so and anyways, the moral of the story is I've been, you know, I, I did, <laughs> during the holiday season, I played... <laughs> I played Mario Party with my friends. You know? Okay. That's not the moral of the story. Yeah. The moral, okay. The so then, you know, her mouth, you know what her mouth, her mouth, you know, her mouth is. <laughs> He's getting nervous. You know what her mouth, you know what her mouth. Her mouth is in that shape. So then I just, you know, I was drinking, playing Mario Party. I was like, you know what? She's got that gentleman's hole. <laughs> And so now, ever since then, we kind of coined the term internally in this in this group of human beings. Mm, oh my god! Where it's just like we have a new little slang term, gentleman's hole. Gentleman's and hole. Like, oh, how was your date last night? Hey, you know, it was good. Just give him a little gentleman's hole. <laughs> <laughs> or you could be like, I got a little gentleman's hole. You and know, it just sounds so, so polite and it proper. Does, it actually does sound polite and proper. It's, it's actually really cute. Yeah, and I'm really happy for their marriage. It's mm-hmm. so I'm cute. really happy for them. It mm-hmm. seems like they're doing great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it, seems like, it seems like Yoshi's really getting it on with Portia. What's her name? Gentleman's Hole. No, the girl. The, girl, the, girl, the female. <laughs> oh, that's what's what we her called name? her. Oh. Her name is Gentleman's Hole. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, what we that call makes, her. That's it's not, not her name. name. Yeah, that's not. <laughs> it's not her name. Yeah. Keon was quick to answer. <laughs> what's her name? Gentleman's Hole. <laughs> <laughs> Shame on you. <laughs> Anyways. She's a person. <laughs> she is a person. Yeah, now she's a I person. <laughs> no, she better watch. No, she better watch himself. Listen, mm-hmm. he know who, who he was picking. That's how she got that big rock. <laughs> she's she got the only that other, big rock. She's the only other dinosaur in the in the party. That's what you think. Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> <laughs> she also actually, I do think Bowser is also a dinosaur. Oh, you could have picked the mushroom. Well, he has a shell. He has so a shell. He could be a turtle. Yes, Low key. correct. Mm-hmm. Low key. Mm-hmm. She's the only one without teeth. Mm. Oh, <gasps> Bowser's giving that. Wait, what brown a bronchiosaurus? What's the anyways? I'll look, it up. I'll look it up Stegosaurus. later. Stegosaurus. No, Stegosaurus has the spikes, but he's got spikes. Yeah, but what's the one? Listen, we're undereducated okay. and we're not going to be speculating about that. <laughs> they right. died a long time ago, a long along time with my ago. dreams, baby. Let's go on. <laughs> Should we move on to our favorite Seggy? <laughs> yes, love it. Cancel me combo. Cancel me combo is a silly little term that describes the healthy debate of a mildly or extremely controversial subject wherein daddy and mommy participate in the beloved practice of rock, paper, scissors to select sides and then proceed to argue in favor of their assigned position regardless of their personal beliefs. Disclaimer, neither daddy nor mommy are legally permitted to be canceled from these conversations. I'm going to give you a fun one. Okay. And we're going rogue? We're going to go rogue. Oh, she's turning it around. Yeah, this is okay. always fun. Mm-hmm. So, listen. Fitness. I feel like <laughs> we're going to, you ta- You can veto it okay. if you guys feel like okay. it's not okay. good. All right. But. Should Annalisa stick to cheese? Girl, the fuck does that mean? <laughs> does vetoed. she pursue, does, does does Annalisa she pursue, pursue her Broadway dreams or does she stay? vetoed. You say no? I, I say veto because you already know how I feel about it. That's true. Right. She that's can't even true. But it's it a great hard. one. I think that's a great one for the fans. That is a fun one for the fans. Oh, I can't yeah. wait for that musical to come out. Right. It's going to slay. Can't wait. You okay, well, our other one, mm. I believe, was like... <laughs> Nice boys versus hot boys. Mm. Oh, that's what it was? I like that one. Okay. I feel like that's like, okay, so like if you can only choose one. Mm. Hot versus nice. I thought you said earlier the <laughs> statement, hot girls like nice guys. Hot girls want good, good guys. Guys. Okay, there we go. 
But I think this that, is inspired by right. a future Shubba song to be, so stay tuned. But for the purpose of keeping this okay. clear and simple, okay. we're going to go hot guys versus nice guys. Okay. okay. If we only have one, you have to argue in favor, okay? Mm-hmm. So I want y'all to rock, paper, scissors. What if you're a hot, nice guy? We're pretending as though that's not an option. All right. So hotness versus niceness. You have to say, listen, I feel the hotness is more important because... Or I feel the niceness is more important because. Okay. Okay? All right. So you guys are going to rock, paper, scissors. Whoever wins is going to argue in favor of the nice boys. Mm-hmm. Whoever loses is going to argue in favor of the hot ones. Okay. okay. Boys, girls included, okay? We're, mm-hmm. we're gender neutral here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Here we go. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. That's a finger. <laughs> You just, you just played. She just said half a scissor. You just, she just threw half a you scissor. Just I half what happened. Me. She threw a one finger into the rock paper scissors. <laughs> I got nervous. What beats? Finger? I got nervous. I got nervous. <laughs> what beats finger? Oh. Seriously. Okay. It's a sword. <laughs> All, right. It's a sword. All right. Let's play rock paper scissors finger hole. How ready? about sword? No, no, no. no I'll do it right this time. It. Give me another chance. Here we go. Okay, ready? I won't, I won't okay, write it down. Ready? Here we go. Rock, paper, <laughs> scissors, shoot. Oh, hole versus scissors. What? <laughs> <laughs> this is a lot. This is like no longer okay, PG-13. You get nice, guys. Okay. All right. <laughs> so here we go. You're going to argue in favor of the nice people, Shaba. Keon, okay. you're going to argue in favor of the hot ones. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay? All right. Keon's going to go first to show you how I'd it's rather, done. I would rather mm. have nice. Oh. Oh. Just kidding. I'll do hot. Mm. Okay, I think that we as a culture argue for people who are moderate looking when we instinctually know that some people are very much more attractive than others. And I feel like when it comes to relationships, there's always a battle between "Mm, they're nice, "Mm, they're hot, which one's going to win? I think it's very obvious as a species that the hotties are always going to win. Um, I've seen it time and time again. Everybody who's just hot as fuck out there laying it down, getting it, um, doing whatever they want to want to do. They have the best stories, bedtime stories, if you will. They seem to be in and out the most, in the relationships the most, <laughs> uh, out of relationships, but with other people the most, mm. cheating on people the most, doing their thing, having kids. Shout out Nick Cannon. <laughs> and all of the above. And as my experience of somebody who I feel like, I don't walk around the town being like, oh, you're so goddamn hot. You know what I mean? What do I get? Mm, I don't even get nice, to be honest with you. I just kind of exist and do my thing. But am I a little bit jealous of people who can pay to get their abs lipo etched? Yeah, I am. Am I a little bit jealous of people who just post a video of themselves lip syncing and getting two million followers from doing nothing, never once looking into their analytics or thinking of any sort of strategy? Hell yeah, I am. Mm -hmm. So what I do have to say is if you're hot and you don't make a career out of it, what the fuck is up these days? Mm. What the fuck is going on? Let's figure that out because then it's a personality issue that's then making you not hot. So at the end of the day, if I was somebody who was trying to be somebody that people would want to mate with. Mate. I would choose hotness over being nice. I think being nice is is nice. Nice is nice. But do you really die and then people are like, wow, they're so nice. No. You (laughs) die and people say, wow, they are so so hot. hot. (laughs) They are so fucking hot. I couldn't believe that shit. Look at Marilyn Monroe. We're not like, oh my gosh, she was so nice. No, we're looking at her and we'll be like, look at her. Yeah, That was an it girl. Even Mm. even freaking John F. Kennedy, now that we're on the topic. Mm. Everyone said he's a hot president. I never heard one person say John F. Kennedy's nice. Look at Miss Jackie girl. I bet you she didn't think he was very nice. I've even heard people say Abraham Lincoln was hot. That's all. I think he was. <laughs> I, would like, I would like to say that Abraham. Abe does it for you. Abe, Abe was hot. Tall, dark, and handsome. Ooh. Wow. What that beard do? Four score. It's true. Mm. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. Well, Shaba, it's now your turn to take the floor and 
Favor of nice people. <laughs> Do I have to? His is very convincing. <laughs> you have to slay. I, I agree. You have to go hard for your I'm cause. I'm like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> the last comments? Like, at first I was not, yeah, I was... and then I was like, all right. <laughs> said, Nobody remembers you That's for being it. Nice. That's it. That's <laughs> it. Um, okay, why do nice people matter? Okay. Wait, sorry, what? No, okay, sorry. What? <laughs> I have to think. Not nice lives matter. <laughs> but, Continue. Uh, I feel that nice people are better to be with long term because they are nice because of particular reasons that have fashioned them into nice and caring people. Mm. Right. So oftentimes with hot people, because they have pretty privilege, they don't necessarily have to work on certain skills and they neglect those during very formative years of their lives. But nice people who might not necessarily be stereotypically or conventionally hot are more aware of the things they lack because they don't have access to the same privilege. So then they need to work on other skills like their charisma, their talents, their business acumen, and that makes them compelling people and gives them qualities that are more beneficial long-term than just a pretty face, which wears away without money to keep it up. I'm so happy I didn't relate to any of that. You are a professor. <laughs> wow. Are you tenured? Are you tenured is what Listen, I need to know. That was good. You're How convinced. smart do you think you are? All right. How, no, seriously. <laughs> on a scale of one to ten. You were spitting facts. I was spitting facts. On a scale she of one really to was. ten. She really was. She was laying it down. On a scale of one to ten. Yeah. Smart in what way, though? No, just in general. There's no way. You just like are. Like maybe... Six, seven. Why do you say seven that? Seven out of ten. Um, because I'm not like, it just depends. Like, because you were asking me like in general, I, I feel like I would say like seven out of ten. Like I'm, bu- I'm above, I think, I think more than like the average person about things mm-hmm. and I'm more analytical, but I'm not like at the level of like, I don't know. Like a, I feel like that was a very intelligent answer. Thank you. I've been asking people that lately. Most people hmm. hit me with like an eight or a nine. Okay. Oh. They, like think regularly. they think they're an eight or a nine. They're an eight. Think, or okay. Eight or a nine. They'll be hmm. like, oh yeah, I'm like an eight or a nine or whatever. And I always, I'm like, yes, I do think you're an intelligent person for functioning in the world, but hmm. you're not inventing rockets. Hmm. That to me, that's yeah, some ten that's stuff. Some if ten you're stuff. creating something out of nothing, you're a ten mm. to sure. me. So I'm just thinking baseline person, businessman, hmm. hmm. doing well in life. The max there is a six. Mm. I think I'm a four and a half. Mm. <gasps> yeah. Humble. Humble king, I think right? humble. humble. I think it's realistic. I think we're a one to six mm-hmm. scale for the normal people. Mm-hmm. And then uh, you can't go above it unless you invented something out of the air. So if mm-hmm. I started inventing, you know. Songs. Heelys that can fly. Songs. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Shoes that can fly. Shoes. You can throw me up Shoes. there on ten. Wow. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> but I am absolutely a four and a half at the moment. Mm-hmm. Stop. Yep. Oh, yeah. We have the Dunning-Kruger effect up on the wow. board. What? Yep. Peak of Mount Stupid Valley of Despair. Oh. Slope of Enlightenment. Plateau of Sustainability. <laughs> Plateau. Just look how high Plateau. the confidence is, though, on the mm-hmm. stupid scale. That's mm-hmm. pretty funny. I love right. it. I have a feeling smart. anybody who's a little bit triggered by my analysis of smartness, mm-hmm. it's time to self-reflect, baby. Mm-hmm. Perhaps. Mm-hmm. That's I'm deep. Talking, yeah, I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. That's deep. I'm not talking about school. Mm-hmm. I think there's plenty of intelligent people who didn't do well in school. Mm-hmm. Yeah, of course. For, probably for lack of trying, I would mm-hmm. say is is more likely mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because it's sure. hard. It's sometimes it's hard to work for free when you comprehend that. Yeah. I think I probably wouldn't do well at school if I had to go back. Maybe we need to send a message out to everybody and just let them know it's okay if you're a four. Out of 10. No, if you're a four out of ten, <laughs> and to everybody. No, if <laughs> you're a, listen, if you're a four out of ten, baby, <laughs> baby, if you're a four out of ten, you're rocking it. You're doing good. You're in good company. You ain't doing better than me. 
But she feels pretty good. <laughs> this was supposed to help people feel. No, it is. It yeah. is. Yeah. It is. I was it like is. a little bit of a put down. Yeah. No, it wasn't a put himself. down. I'm just, just saying. He said, you ain't doing better <laughs> than me. You made your own scale. Explain the scale. <laughs> then he said, Keon, screw play. all of you guys. None of you are better no, than me. No, I'm just. No, Y'all you're cute. better than me. No, no, no. You're doing great. No, if This has been a really fun time. No, if you're a if you're a five. I've had a lot of fives. So much fun. Wow. I'm just saying the fives are doing well. We were talking about the fours. You, I, and, I, <laughs> no, and, and I was talking about the fours. Until you put them I, down. I'm a 4.5. point five. you were above them. No, I'm a 4.5. You, you still are just doubling up. down on being above the fours. Listen. <laughs> we're trying to give a message question, to the fours that to it's me, okay it to be a to four. It sounds to me like you hate honesty, actually. And no, it yeah. sounds like I'm trying to uplift people and you're not. <laughs> it sounds to me like, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Shut up. Thank you so much. (laughs) (laughs) And with that, I say thank you for being so intelligent. We are looking forward to the rest. For sharing your level six mind. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Hit us with that six. six. For sharing your musical genius. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Your theatrical ideas. Oh. Your vulnerable spirit. Oh. The one that you conjured and the one that is currently in you. I don't know which which is which. Oh. But we will continue to support all the spirits. Thank you. That inhabit your body. And we wish you the best of luck in all your endeavors. Fitness. <laughs> <laughs> and shout out to my fitness. Fergie loves Thank fitness. You, just Fergie. FYI. <laughs> Fergie does love fitness. Fergie, Fergie does, does love fitness. Love. FYI. She does. Cheers. All right. Thank you for having me. Good night, Cheers, y'all. Queen. Mwah. Or whatever time it is. <laughs> I'm going to bed. It's one at one o'clock. Bye. Period. Bye. 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 Bye.